What's going on everybody? Lucas Decker here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the outer shells on your Yo-Yo Factory 9 Dragons. And guys, I release all sorts of Yo-Yo related content on this channel, so if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And with all that being said, we're not wasting any more time, let's get started! Alright guys, so for those of you who own a 9 Dragons, you'll know that this Yo-Yo is famous for having plastic shells that spin separately from the Yo-Yo. And this allows you to do some really, really unique tricks. Now one thing that is really cool about this yo-yo is that you can change the outer shells. So maybe you have multiple 9 dragons, or you bought some extra shells to change the aesthetic of it. So I'm going to show you guys how I swap the shells on my 9 dragons. This is the method that works for me, and hopefully it helps you guys out. And guys, these plastic shells are quite thin, so please be careful when you're doing this, because neither Yo-Yo Factory or I will be responsible if you break your yo-yo. Alright guys, so I have my 9 dragons right here, and right now I'm rocking the clear shells on this one and I'll be swapping them with these super cool green ones. Now, in order to swap the shell, you are gonna need some sort of pen like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pen. You just need something with a point that gradually gets thicker. And make sure it's thicker than a number two pencil. A number two pencil is just too thin. All right, so to start, you're gonna grab your yo-yo and just unscrew it like you normally would. Just grab the metal parts with your palms and unscrew it like this. So now that you have the yo-yo unscrewed, you're gonna separate the plastic shell from the metal portion of the yo-yo. So you're literally just gonna pull the shell right off the yo-yo like that. If it's giving you a hard time, you can just tap it a little bit, or you can grab the outside and push it through with the axle like that. Now sometimes when you remove the shell, you may leave a spacer on the metal portion of the yo-yo. So right now this side has a spacer on it and this one does not. And that doesn't matter, just make sure you keep track of it and don't lose it. Now, going back to the shells, we need to remove the spacer and the bearing. So to remove the spacer, you might be able to just tap it out. And of course, one side is still gonna have the bearing on it. So you can just take that out. And as you saw, that one came out really easily. So for right now, you can put the spacers and the two metal halves off to the side. And now you're left with the two plastic shells. However, we need to remove the bearing inside them. Now I mentioned earlier that one of these spacers was missing from this half. And as you can see, that spacer came off with the shell. Like I said, that doesn't matter. Just keep track of it and don't lose it. All right, so now we're gonna take our pen. Now these bearings are pretty tight in here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it inside the bearing like that. And as you can see, it is sticking out a little bit. And I'm just gonna very, very gently just press down on the bearing. And like I said, this is fairly thin plastic, so just be patient with it. And just very kind of gently but firmly kind of press it out like that. And you can just lift the pen out, and there you have the bearing separated from the Nine Dragon shell. And of course, we need to do the same thing to the other side. Remember, just be firm but gentle. There we go. So now that you have the bearings removed from both of your shells, you can put the shells off to the side, hold onto the bearings, and bring back the other parts of the yo-yo. Then grab the shell that you want to swap. Now we need to reinsert the bearing into the shell. So you can literally just put it in there and press it in there like that. And it is a pretty tight fit, so just be aware of that. And if you have a spacer on the bearing, make sure that it is on the open side of the shell like that. Same thing to the other side, just press it in there. Make sure it's nice and tight and flush with the rest of the shell. All right, so now we can literally just throw the shells back onto the yo-yo like that. And guys, make sure that each half only has one spacer on it. And then grab your spacers with the response pads on them. Of course, one should still have the bearing on it. So to put these in, I actually recommend putting the one with the bearing on first like that. And then take the other one and flip it upside down and stack it on top. And then just take the other half of the yo-yo and then just line it up with the axle and slide it down and then simply screw the yo-yo back together, tighten it up with your palms, and you are good to go. All right guys, so there you have it. We just swapped the shells on the Yo-Yo Factory 9 Dragons. Guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, please be careful when you're doing this. And that's gonna put a wrap on this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you enjoyed it. Guys, if you're enjoying the videos and the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. It is truly appreciated. And as always, any further feedback, questions, or suggestions are more than welcome in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be talking to you very soon.